Hi, welcome back to the course. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have configured the MyBetis. We have created a MyBetis configuration file, which is our XML file. And we have defined all our database properties like the driver, URL, username, and password. So in this video, we're going to create a util class uh, where we are going to read this XML file, which is the MyBetis configuration file as soon as the application starts and we are going to create a session factory. So once we get the session factory, we can perform the database operations. So let's see how we can do that. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a util class inside our Java resources folder. So inside the source main Java, I'm going to create a new package. I'm going to call this util. Inside this, I'm going to create a class and I'm going to call this mybetis util. You can give any name you want. Right click, new, select class, mybetis util, and click finish. So inside this, I'm going to create a static variable, which is SQL session factory, uh, which is from org.apache.ibetis session private static sql session factory which is from r.apache.ibetis.session i'm going to call this session factory so now i'm going to create a static block inside this i'm going to create a reader I'm going to call this reader which is from java.io control shift o to import inside this i'm going to write a try catch block we are going to catch io exception i'm going to print the stack trace reader is equal to resources dot get resource as reader inside this I'm going to specify the path uh, where our configuration file is located the configuration file which is located inside the resources folder so resources my bit is hyphen config dot xml and now we're going to create a new session factory builder session factory builder and i'm going to call a build method into this build method we are passing the reader object and we're going to store that in the session factory and finally we're going to write a public static method to get the session factory public static we are going to get the session factory i'm going to call this get sql session factory Inside this, I'm going to return the SQL session factory, which is this. Let's save this. So now we have created our util class to read the configuration file, which is the mybetis configuration file. And we are writing a public method to get the session factory. So now as soon as the application starts, we are going to read the configuration file and we are going to create a SQL session factory. So once we get the SQL session factory, we are going to perform the database operations. So in the next video, we are going to create a DO class and the mapper class and we're going to perform the get operation, uh, which will gives us the list of employees. So that is coming up in the next video. I will see you in the next video.